Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So, welcome to this part two of my door tutorial video. In the part one, we learned how to make a flush door, a basic flush door. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make different variations of flush doors in just one family, where you can have uh, multiple types of doors nested into one uh, specific family. And you can utilize that simple family to create multiple kinds of doors as per as your requirement. And also we will be delving upon like what is type and instance property and um, trying it out, testing it out in the project environment. So I'll try to keep this video under 20 minutes, but um, yeah, sometimes I exceed that. So I apologize for that, but I want you guys to learn uh, in the best way possible. So yeah. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel because your support is the only thing that keeps me making these kind of videos. I just finished my work and I'm again back on Revit just for you guys. So please support this channel and let's get started with the video. Guys, as you can see over here, like I have um, added some families like this is a hardware family i also have some other hardware family i downloaded it from uh, online source so it was just basic hardware families that i wanted to show you so this is the door operator uh, this is the door lock handle this is a panic bar that we add into emergency doors and uh, of course this is the elevation of that bar i have added a width parameter over here, which was kind of working before, but I made it uh, better so that it can be linked to the door that I'll be using and it will move along with the size of the door. So this is something that I will be adding to our previous door. So uh, let's add this bar as well to the door. So I'll add it over here. And you can see there is my handlebar as well. So what I will be doing right now is I have added it all on interior side. So first, let's lock our doors. Oof. That's why I don't like um, these families which come directly from online sources. Like they don't have a proper reference plane or anything. So. I will give a parameter over here. So I just click on the dimension. I go here and give it um, just door knob height. I'm not doing anything fancy over here, guys. And I will put it at 850 just to offset the uh, 100 mm size over here, or else I would have kept it at uh, 900 mm. Um, next is also this bar bars are always at 1000 mm high so i will create another reference plane i don't want to keep them on the same reference plane i have reason for that because i will be creating a different type so this has a reference plane of course okay and if this has a reference plane this will also have width parameter and i have made it an instance parameter so what I can do is I can just click here. This is the edge reference plane and I can just click this and I can do the same on this side and it will stretch to the size as needed because it's a width, um, it's an instance parameter. It will just follow that. So I have logged it to both of the side and I have logged it to this reference plane as well. I will go here make another dimension oops make another dimension that is panic bar height panic bar height and this is at 1019 i will make it 1000 mm, oops, sorry, 1000 mm. Okay, 
and now you will say that but how a door can have both a panic bar a handle and all of these things so we will make visibility parameters for all of these things just so that we can have a variety or a different kind of door but also one more thing in most of the emergency doors uh, we have a window window opening and it is for a reason because emergency firefighters and stuff they can come they can open that window uh, like basically break that window and open this bar by their instrument so these are the mechanism that uh, usually are placed in offices and there is no panic bar on the other side so that's a different thing because they don't want an outsider to enter the building premises so anyways let's create a visibility parameter so i will just make it show panic bar okay and here is the segregation i will put it into graphics and do this and when i open the family type properties i'll see that on graphics i have the option to show or hide the panic bar and if you just want to see it live happening i will just show you quickly apply so it will hide it so this is just to show you guys that okay this works and then i will click on this and also put a visibility parameter that is show door knob click okay oh i forgot to put it in um graphic category so this also matters guys when you work professionally it always matters how you arrange your parameters and everything so always keep that in mind it's a good thing to know it's not something that it's like you know you can just leave it but it's something good that you should follow people will like it and also i can add one more reference plane and lock it and i will make door knobs spacing usually it's not this far it's lesser than this i'm just putting it over there i can actually make it 60 60 or 75 is usual spacing not more than that so door knob spacing i have put i have this parameter this parameter now we will create types this is very important because this is what the video is about let's create one type that is our door f1 and what is the width of door is 1000 x by mm okay so this is our one type of door next door we will make door emergency x 2000 mm i'm just giving them these two names so that we can create types and visibility parameter based on things so in an emergency door you won't see a door knob which we will do apply and in normal door you won't see the panic bar so i switched it off and made it this okay and in a uh, 
most of the most of the emergency door the door material will change so i don't know if i have more materials over there over here but um, i'll put uh, metal for now just time being okay i'll just duplicate and this is also important guys sometimes you can just make materials so just go ahead and do this click okay surface pattern background foreground cut pattern i am not making and pattern is also none also i'll go in this okay so the basic door panel is okay and if i do apply the color will change but if i go here emergency the color will change so this is the difference between that and i'll click okay now we have added the bar we have added this now it's time to test it if all the parameters are working or not and how does it look in our uh, project so i have opened the revit basic sample project and uh, so this is our door so we have added the door but here you can see that there is a problem i can <laughs> still see that white panel of the door and i can still see the door knob which we usually don't show on the plan so what i will do is go in the door again and now i will click on the panel that is an extrusion go on visibility override and okay so plan and rcp it shows that it is hidden but why did we see that so that was because when cut in plan rcp if category permits so this category has that uh, option so if i just open it uh, like sorry uh, uncheck it and click okay it won't be visible same thing i will do with uh, the door knob as well so here it's show or hide but here we can go and see like where we can hide it so on plan and rcp usually you hide it um in an emergency door you usually don't hide it so you need to show the push bar sometimes on emergency door so i won't do that so now let's go and load this family back again now you can see our door is just a normal door and uh, over here on door qc view you will see that okay so we have our door and i will do create similar and actually i need to do it on the level 2 so that it comes on the proper level i'll click here create similar and do this okay now go on the elevation view here i can go and you can see it is single flush now i will do it emergency here you can see that in one door i have the bar and in the same family i have a normal door as well and if you want i can make it shaded view as well so here you can see that i will change the frame uh, framing material as well because emergency doors are usually like uh, the frame is also different it's usually metal frame or something because uh, they want it to stop the fire as well it doesn't want the door to just burn and melt and things like that so that's something uh, so this is how you uh, manage doors and if i move this door on the other side you can see that i have an option of flipping this door uh yeah it is here 
So when I click on that, which I had uh, shown in my previous video as well, like when you have that option, you can just flip your door in any direction, left or right, and same goes for this one. So you can do this as well. And here's the door QC. All these parameters, all the parameters over here are um, basically a type parameter. So if you make an instance parameter, what will happen? So instance parameter is basically you can give a door its own characteristics, like you can change the height or things like that. For example, uh, I'm here. This is the door knob height which we made uh, i will go here door, door knob where is the door knob height yes i'll do edit and from type i will change it to instance and do okay okay now i will push the door inside the project again overwrite then go on the elevation and copy okay so I copied this door. Now, when I click on this door, okay, you can see that door knob height is now on my main property panel. So every instance based property will be visible here. So I just give it 900 or sorry, make it extreme 1200. Okay. But now can you see the difference? This door, which is the same type as this one, has different door knob height, which is not ideal. We never do this ever in a project. We don't have varied uh, heights, but we have various kind of hardwares, various kind of hardwares that are attached to these doors. So we make some properties as instance based property. And sometimes in interior design projects, we have the same exact door with same dimension, same materials, everything, but the exterior finish is different. So we go ahead and make the material of this door as an instance property. So instance property gives you this specific power. I will also show you the example. So the grab bar height is not an instance property. And now see what will happen if I change one grab bar height okay I'll go here go to edit properties and now you can see that this door uh, panic bar height is not mentioned over here because it's a type property you will find it in type properties so I'll go here and make it 600 just have a look what happened so this door, just because the height of that bar was a type property, all the doors in your project, in your entire project will change the grab bar height. So it's always better to use type properties in some standardized thing. For example, door knob, push bar, all of these are very standard things and on they come on a standard height. So always make them a type property and if you want instance property be very careful what you are making as an instance property so guys this was it for today's video i wanted to keep this video within 20 minutes and as promised i did that <laughs> finally so yeah uh, this was it and if you have any kinds of doubts or queries anything please go ahead mention it in the comment section and please don't forget to hit a like or subscribe to my channel because Yes, I need your support guys to keep making these things and these videos for you guys. So yeah, keep supporting. Take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.